I mean, what do you think is an issue in the school? I mean, I think the class transition times can be a little off sometimes, and it's also kind of annoying when you're going to lunch and or away from lunch and you're trying to get through the hall and you don't mm -hmm. have to pass and can't get to tutoring. It's it's almost like you're being treated as you're committing a crime it's, going it's, through the halls sometimes. It's a no-go zone at this point. Exactly, yeah. <laughs>I think that five minutes between classes is okay, but only if you're nearby. And if you have to go from one building, one side of the building to the other, it's not very practical. Um, I don't think that lengthening it to 10 minutes solves anything because then you have too much time. But I feel like if it was maybe like eight-ish, that's a nice number. I feel like seven's odd and six doesn't help that much. So I don't feel like there's a very good number in the middle. But maybe if it was seven or eight and you just took off a minute on each side, it'd be a lot easier to get to class if you need to use the bathroom or something like that. Um, I think they're a, a reasonable amount of time um, for transition. They could be a little longer, but they are, I think they're okay. Five minutes is just about the right time for me to transition from class to class, but I would like a little bit more time because, you know, the water fountains are pretty bad at the school, so. I think it's long enough. Um, well, I believe that it's definitely way too short. Um, I sometimes catch myself using the bathroom, getting some water, trying to see my friends, maybe talk on the phone a little bit. I mean, it at least needs to be bumped up to 30 minutes. Um, I think that five minutes, it works for most people, but the problem is, is when you have people who have classes where they have to walk all the way across the school, and with that, it, it leaves time. It takes five minutes to walk across the school, so it doesn't leave time for people to use the bathroom. and you know, get water, which then they're forced to uh, do it at the beginning of class and some teachers won't let them. So I feel like to allow for that, I feel like maybe the time should be seven or eight minutes. I think 10 is too much. Doubling it would leave a lot of downtime and waste, you know, like 10 minutes of the day because you're just sitting at the beginning of class, but seven or eight would work well. Um, I feel like hall passes aren't necessary considering that you can go where you want, you know? You don't have a place to be, so it's a little unnecessary to be interrogated every time you're trying to walk and get water. Um, I think it's a little crazy. I don't think people should have to have a pass to go to a place that they need to be, um, so they'll actually want to study. So. Uh, well, during lunch, you know, I don't really go anywhere since I'm in Mr. Guest's room, so no problem. Um, I think they're fine. I don't think it's enforced consistently throughout the school, so that might be an issue. Um, during lunch, well, first we should be off campus during lunch, and if you come back the rest of the day, you come back. If you don't, you don't. Um, but the train system is not bad. I just think maybe two-hour lunch would be pretty good. Um, and during lunch, I understand why we have to have passes, um, and I understand that they're trying to keep track of everyone. But if you're getting food in the cafeteria and then you have to go to a class to get tutoring, it's they don't give you a pass. You can't get there. So I know I've had friends that have struggled getting to tutoring they've needed to get to. So something needs to be worked out with that, because it's. The whole purpose of having a longer lunch is so that you can get help in your classes, and we can't do that if we can't get passes. Uh, you see, when you bother people who are trying to get lunch about getting lunch, and they have to get to tutoring, and let's say they're not walking in the designated time that's split halfway, it it's almost taking out the freedom that was supposed to be given by the lunch period in the first place, which is kind of counterintuitive. And I feel like by letting people be on their own terms and on their own time, it makes, it gives the freedom that should be given by the lunch period. How do you feel about off-campus catering? Um, off-campus catering, I feel like um, Pizza Hut has done well at Cedar Ridge, uh, sneaking in through the back door and sometimes Domino's. But I mean, I think that sometimes you just have to have some off-campus food. Um, people really love Bojangles around here, so that's always a good call.